<clears throat> Alright guys, hello, welcome to The Land, episode 18, I believe. My name is Ian. I'm Rob. And um, we're going to talk about UFC 272 <clears throat> this past weekend. You enjoyed it? Good yeah. card? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a first, good card from... from Pre- Early prelims, prelims to the main card, yeah. So you're watching the whole card. Yeah, right? mainly this one just because there was a bunch of Khabib's guys on there. Oh, yeah. That's true. There's like, um, I feel like they're taking over. They are. And they're very that, good. You that know? fight with uh, Tagir and mm-hmm. Tim Elliott. Oh, okay. That's what like pissed off Khabib. For yeah, the was that like, I saw it on like a <clears throat> Instagram post. Yeah. I guess he was pissed off for the rest of the night. But, I mean, the rest of his team won, so. What did he do wrong? Uh, I don't know, just Tim Elliott's a savage, bro. Oh, okay. He just out-wrestled him. Oh, damn. I've Fucking always, I, Every time I just see people in Khabib's team, I just assume they're, like, amazing at wrestling. Mm-hmm. But Tagir like was getting caught, too, man. Tim Elliott's a fucking wild man. Yeah. He's been in the fight game for a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like I what uh, class is that? What weight class? It's thirty-five. Okay, yeah. Think of the same person. <sighs> um, so I just rewatched the fights, um, like Saturday night, Sunday night, and then I was gonna try and rewatch the Covington fight. I already saw like the live. I saw it live, so I'm good. But. Man, that um, Greg Hardy, I feel like he just thinks he can outpower everyone, huh? Yeah, just because he's a big dude, right? Technique is, <clears throat> you got to have the technique. Mm-hmm. I wonder what they do with him. Right. That's his third straight. Yeah. I feel like, didn't he say he's not going to resign or he wants to do something else? He said he's not done. Oh. But I don't see we'll, we'll see what happens, what yeah. they do with that. That dude looks, um, it looks like he's just coasting, you know? He's not in the gym every day. Yeah. He's not, like, putting in the hours that he should be. Who knows? But, like, for Sergey to, like, pick him up and trip him like that. Right. This yeah. is some crazy shit, man. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it seemed like when the ref broke it up, and you know how the doctor went to him to check up on him? It seemed like he was still... He woke up right away. And yeah, was like, he knocked out? I think I knocked out. Something like that. Because he snapped. Yeah, he was like, he's he reacting like, like put his hands back yeah. up like, fuck, dude. <laughs> that can't be good. Um, What was the next fight? Was that one? I think it was Bryce Mitchell versus Barboza. Was the next one. That one was uh, unexpected. Like, I... I wanted Mitchell to win. Yeah. I had a feeling he would win, yeah. but it was unexpected how he hit him with the one-two. Yeah, he dropped him in the yeah. first. That's I didn't expect that shit mm. at all. But man, Edson Barbosa's leg kicks. I'm sure if it went on, it might have been in Barbosa's favor. But mm. I just feel bad for him, man. He's so good. He's so good. He's he's in shape. Yeah. He just looks scary. Like, yeah. Like, a, if a casual, like, looks at both of them and be like, oh, this guy's going to win. You yeah, know? for sure. The Brazilian mm-hmm. guy's going to win mm-hmm. just because he looks like a savage. But he's so tall. And there's Bryce Mitchell who just looks like your average dude. Mm-hmm. But, like, deep down, these, something about these fucking farmer boys, dude. I know. Like, these Corn just fed. country boys. Yeah. Right. They're just so fucking tough, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> he got the power of God in him. That's why. Power of God. And just. <laughs> He didn't look tired at all. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited for Bryce, man. Yeah, I'm very excited. Um, he's a wrestler that like I really enjoy watching. There's a few wrestlers where they just lie on their opponent and that's it. But when you're trying to advance, you're laying down heavy shots on the ground. Mm-hmm. It's a fun time watching yeah. that kind of stuff. This kind of reminds me of like Tito back in the day. Mm-hmm. Just smashing dudes, throwing elbows. Yeah. Wherever he can. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't matter what position <laughs> he's in. Yeah. 
Um, I always thought of Barboza like as like the gatekeeper of whatever division he fights in. Yeah. Like if you crack, if you beat um, Barbosa, then you're guaranteed top five. Top after five. That. Yeah, for sure. Like he's the fucking, he is the, I don't know, the reptile in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> Once you beat reptile, you're good for Shao Kahn, you yeah. know? <laughs> it's just crazy how he caught him with that one too, though. It didn't look too bad. Yeah. It didn't look too bad. Like, Barboza got back up, but mm-hmm. it's still surprising to me, man. Got that corn-fed power. <laughs> and then what was next? Uh, Cowboy and Kevin mm-hmm. Holland. That was a good one, too. Fucking crazy. Kevin Holland was, uh, he just, I mean, I guess he's brand new, right? Not he's brand new, but yeah. he's making a lot of rookie mistakes, it seems like. Yeah. Trying to lunge. Yeah, he does get attacks. wild. He does get reckless. Mm-hmm. But he's just he's just the guy that just wants to fucking fight, mm-hmm. you know? I Have like you, his attitude. Yeah. He's funny, man. Have you watched, like, his troll videos? Mm-mm. So, like, I guess he gets a lot of feedback from people on how he fights. And he's like, okay, fly over and we'll fucking spot Oh, him. yeah. <laughs> he flies them out and he fucks everyone. Dang. Out. Yeah. <laughs> he fucks them up. <laughs> I didn't know he had a kung fu background. Yeah, that's dude. pretty cool. It's so fucking hilarious. <laughs> Every time I see someone with a kung fu background, I just picture them as a kid, and their parents just sign them up for kung fu, mm. you know, and they're just having fun with it. Nothing like serious. Like if your background is Muay Thai, then it's like, oh shit, <laughs> you wanted to fight when you're a kid, you know? Yeah. But kung fu, it's like you watch. Bruce Lee or Jackie Chan or something moving you're like I want to do that and you got Kevin Hall yeah. <laughs> yeah. talking about Muay Thai you know what I'm psyched for mm. on the 26 uh, DJ mm. oh Tang, the, the fucking super how the fight. rounds are gonna be yeah right? so the first and fourth round first and fourth yeah I think so or is it like first two is it split? One is... and three. One and three is going to be Muay Thai rules. Uh-huh. And then two and four will be MMA. Uh, All three minutes each. That's crazy. So are they yeah. going to... What are they wearing? Are they wearing... Four ounce gloves. Oh, okay. Yeah. During the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Oh. Shit's going to be fucking crazy. crazy. Yeah. I like that. Have you seen his fucking record, dude? Mm-mm. So he has 267 wins <laughs> and 42 losses. Bro. Wow. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. How many fights you got to fight in a year to do that? I don't know. It's a lot. <laughs> Fucking Thailand, man. Dang. Those guys fight to eat, bro. On the 26th. Yeah. Is that going to be on Fight Pass? That I don't know. Oh, okay. Hopefully. Damn. Oh, it's one, so probably not. Oh, that's yeah. its own thing? Yeah. Oh, Maybe shit. Nuts. On the 26th, March, this coming up. This this month, dang yeah. We'll see how DJ does. I mean, Rod, Rod Tang was like, "I'm not gonna let him get out of the first. Mm-hmm. But so we'll see. Huh? We'll see what the fuck happens. DJ's one of your goats, so, and yeah. I believe it. I think so too. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, we'll talk about <laughs> later. What was after that? Um, I believe it was. Uh, was it the? Is it already Comain? Yeah. Comain was um RDA versus Moicano. Moicano. And I thought his heart, man. Yeah. I do think his corner should have pulled pulled them out. It's hard to say. But I mean, what was it? Like the fourth and fifth round, uh Moicano found his found some he, good shots. He fucked up in the fourth, got mm-hmm. fucked up in the fourth and just came back in the fifth. Yeah, but I could see how because the commentators were saying it seems like RDA is like holding, holding back, back. Yeah. holding back a little bit. Which yeah, you saw that. So Hanato just started throwing, and RDA is like, yeah. "Okay, we'll fucking go." Right. So it's like, what do you do if like you're winning and you don't want to like further damage your opponent, mm-hmm. but then he's like throwing hard ass shots. At <laughs> he you, still you know? wants to fucking you're like knock fuck. Out. Yeah, that's hard as a coach, man. Mm-hmm. Like if your fire is getting fucked up, like of course you want to throw it in the towel, but. It's hard when your fucking fighter's like, no, fuck that. I, I want to keep yeah. going. 
I wonder if there's like conversation um, before the fight where it's like, I don't care how fucking damaged I am. Mm-hmm. Don't throw in that towel, you know? I'm sure. But then there's also coaches where it's like, I'm here to like make sure that you live, you know? Yeah. I don't want to see you like just hurt, you know, 10 years into your career and you can't fight, you know? So can't even fucking eat right. Right. <laughs> it's, it's scary, a, man. It's a touchy conversation. Yeah. But I just like how much heart all fighters have. Right. It's just a different mm-hmm. different sport, man. It's fucking crazy. I wish Islam took that fight. <sighs> what do you think? Yeah. I don't know, dude. Because that dude's on the streak. I guess he has the right to chill. Mm-hmm. But I think he still would have beaten RDA. Mm. Because wasn't it like he it was a first round finish with Islam against uh Bobby Green. <laughs> so he's like there's no injury for him. No injury. RDA was like, I'll come to one sixty, bro. Yeah. I'll come up there if you if that makes it like easier, easier for you. Right. Still denied it. Not. You saw what Dana said about that? Um, um He's like think? since he turned on the fight, he's gonna have to fight Dariush now. When oh, Dariush gets okay. healthy. Dana's a fucking savage too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for that Dariush fight. Me too. I really, really want to watch that. I think that'll be great. Because you look at Islam's record, his resume of who he's fought, and it's nothing crazy. But then on the flip side, it's like, that's because people don't want to fight Islam. Mm-hmm. You know? It's just unstoppable. So it's dope to see Darius be like, let's throw it down, you know? I just want to see him get cracked once, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> be interesting. <laughs> <clears throat> but RDA is, uh, that dude can just grind. Him and Colby are very similar mm-hmm. in that way. But main event time. Yeah. Colby's Before we go there, yeah. main event. Uh, Rogan mentioned that the whole Islam and Daryush thing, mm-hmm. it's setting up Connor for a title fight. Yeah. Uh-huh. Weird, right? Yeah. It's weird to think about, but it's something that the UFC would fucking do. Wow. You know? So, winner of Islam Dariush fights, what is that, welterweight? Islam's is, welterweight? Is it Walter? No, it's 55. Oh, 55. Okay, so they fight. <laughs> Am I fucking wrong right now? <laughs> no, I think you're right. That doesn't make sense. Um. Okay, yeah, so it's, oh, Oliveira. Yes. Okay. okay, you're right. Well, Oliver's um, going to fight Gaethje. So, Oliver fights Gaethje. Winner of that fights winner of Dariush Islam. And then, then winner of that fights Connor. That's, yeah. That's crazy. That's what he thinks. Which sounds crazy because he's on a losing streak. But Connor's the fucking moneymaker. That's know? true, yeah. Did, um, <clears throat> where did Rogan say that? During the fight or during on his, podcast? his podcast with Bisbing. Oh, okay. Yeah. I still got to watch that one. Bisbing's a fucking crazy. That's man. nuts. Yeah. That's crazy. Crazy to think about, but it's possible. I. That's a, that's a slap to the face of everyone else. Obviously. I have no interest in watching that. Right. I think. Mm-hmm. Wow. I think you give you should give Connor if Chandler beats uh, a Tony. Hmm. Yeah. Then just do Chandler and Connor. Or just winner of Chandler and Tony. Like when you mentioned Tony versus Connor would be amazing. I 1000% agree Mm -hmm. with that. The whole. Yeah, that fucking thing would sell, dude. Yeah, you can make that a main event. (laughs) Yeah. For a UFC pay per view. Everyone would watch that. No, you can make that a main event. Fucking press conference. You could do like a whole fucking stadium. Yeah. You can do a, you know how Jose and Connor, when they first were yeah. in the fight, they had a whole around the world they press can easily tour. Easily do that, man. Yeah. Dang. Come on. Yeah. We can be the next uh, 
Sean Shelby and Mick Maynard. <laughs> <laughs> Put us in the war room. Guys. Um, main event, Colby Covington versus Jorge Masvidal. It went how I thought it would go. That was expected. Mm-hmm. Um, the buildup was fun. Yeah. You could see in the press conference, like, Jorge's looking down, just getting heated, bro. Mm-hmm. Just, <laughs> Colby just does what he does. Yeah. <laughs> Got in his head, man. Um, after at the end of the first, Colby already took his back. I'm like, dude, you're doing this in the first. Like, this is right. not gonna be good at yeah. all. <laughs> when Colby was like, when he had his back and he was trying to get an arm <clears> in, <throat> but he was just like smothering his face yeah. with his arm. I'm like, fuck, if that was me, if I was Jorge, I'd tap from that. <laughs> yeah. Just irritating, right? Yeah. Like whenever I see fighters that have like um full mount and they have their hand over their yeah. her nose, I'm like, fuck, I think I'd tap. Or their forearm right yeah. on your neck. Fucking Khabib, dude. Yeah. Like he was doing that neck crank to uh Dustin. Mm. Just oh, to yeah, keep yeah, Dustin yeah. down. Yeah. It's such a smart move, bro. Yeah. I wonder why you know how Khabib. I'm not sure if any other wrestlers do this, but when Khabib when Khabib is um, wrestling with them and he has them down against the fence, how Khabib wraps his legs yes. around their legs. Mm-hmm. Does any other wrestler do that? Not anyone I can think of. Because I just feel like it's so. Underrated. You kind of saw it from Islam. Oh, okay. But of course, it's one of his people. Yeah. So. Of course, but I've never seen anyone. Maybe, maybe George. Oh, okay. I don't know. Could be just he did all the time. So obviously, yeah. I just feel like that maneuver, that move is so like well, well yeah. put together, well done. Like you're locked in. You can't move anywhere. Your hips Your are legs out. Are and straight you're just as fucking fuck. pulling elbows. Yeah. to keep them down. It's the craziest shit. Yeah. I think more wrestlers got to utilize that shit. Because mm-hmm. you can't do anything. Yeah. Like people, when you're on the ground, you're trying to get to the fence so you can use the fence to get up. But now Khabib figured out you go to the fence and I'll make sure it's hell for you again, you know? Yeah. But, um, <laughs> Colby Covington coming out to Kurt Angle's song. I didn't know this was his, that's his usual song that he walks out to. I love that. <laughs> Yeah, it's and just perfect, people man. chanting out "You suck" yeah. during it. Ugh, I love it. I think every single UFC fan, as a kid, they're WWE fans, right? Had to have been. And I understand yeah. like the hatred now if you're older and you're like WWE is fake as fuck, but you grow up on WWE. I think it's still great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it's cool. Some like I can't follow the storylines right now, but. I'll go to uh, WrestleMania. I'll go to Royal Rumble. I think Rumble. they're doing SummerSlam here. Yeah, but Bob wants to go. Damn, we should go. If you're down and go, I'm down to go. Um, But yeah, so first round, Covington pretty much did his own thing. Second round, um, I don't know. Jorge was just struggling. He wasn't doing what he wanted to do. He doesn't have that spark anymore, bro. Yeah. I feel like he's, um, because he's older too. He's like, what, 36, 37? Yeah. <clears throat> I think he's just, uh, he realizes where he's at. Yeah. I, w- I was hoping for more from him just because, like, yeah, the Camaro beef was one thing, but, like, this shit's personal. Like, mm. I expected Real. Jorge to just throw fucking bombs. Right. Like, I didn't. I don't know if you're if you're listening to this, watching this. If you, I didn't see Jorge throw one of those, uh, that that switch, that step hook, yeah, that yeah. faint and yeah. that overhook, the one that caught Darren Till. Mm-hmm. I didn't see one of those. I, I yeah. didn't see any. Um, and then when he rocked him, what was that in the fourth? <laughs> the fourth, he. I guess I don't know if he's just too tired, but that dude Colby was. Fucking wobbly. Wobbly. Walking back. He could have ended going to it right the left. there. Yeah. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, fuck, you have to. You have to do something. Go for the kill now, dude. This is your last chance. If I bet on Jorge and he, he did that, just like with Nate, because yeah. we bet on Nate. Yeah. 
And it was like the last minute of the last round, and he didn't do anything. Fuck, man. That hurts my soul. Yeah. But the Drake curse is real. You see all that bullshit that he bets on teams and then the other team wins or something? Yeah. <laughs> I saw Maz with all tweeted, like, hey, next yeah. time you're in Miami, I'll buy you dinner. Like, dinner? What an idiot. It's 275K? <laughs> okay. you, buy his, you can buy you dinner, bro. That's nothing to yeah, Drake. Yeah, that's fucking lunch money to Drake. <laughs> Damn, man. It was a really good fight. Um... Oh, fuck I like the, the bad f- blood after. Yeah. Kobe pulled out his mouthpiece. Yeah. Started like- grabbing his nuts. With his tongue <laughs> yeah. Out. yeah. I like how uh, Rogan and Biz being bet too. 20 bucks on if they hug if or they not. hug or not. Yeah. <laughs> Rogan's like, I think I'm going to lose my bet. Yeah. <laughs> it was really good. I enjoyed it. And I realized like, I don't know, maybe a couple days before the fight, I was like, oh shit, this is like a non-title fight main event. So mm-hmm. I looked into it and I was like, what are the other, like, how usual is it? And it's like Masvidal versus Diaz was another main event one. Mm-hmm. Um, Connor yeah. versus Dustin was another one. Connor Dustin too. So Masvidal is definitely a money guy. More people will still watch him fight, you know. Damn. What do you do with him? Yeah. He's in the same position as Connor, I think. He is. You could do just... that. You could do that fight. Um, oh, yeah. If Leon loses to uh, Usman, you mm-hmm. could do Leon and Jorge. Mm. That's another one that would sell. Yeah. It's a big beef. Yeah, is Leon next? I think so, right? Yeah. And I feel like he's... Um, Usman's opponents have all been like either same height. So I feel like Leon might be a little bit different for Mm -hmm. Usman which is good (laughs) I went to his room dude Kamaru's Kamaru's. room Kamaru Dean (laughs) (laughs) I went in and I was like no one was in there so I was like oh what the fuck so I look at the TV and it says welcome Kamaru Dean Usman I was like what the (laughs) I had no idea his full name was Kamaru Dean so I had to look it up and I was like oh shit that's his full name Kamaru Dean. You see the belt? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I didn't want to <clears throat> snoop around too much. But he was eating healthy. He mm. had like an all egg white omelet. <laughs> oh, damn. A fruit bowl. <laughs> I feel like Colby's in the same realm as Robert Whitaker, you know? Whitaker's yeah, if Usman like. If wasn't there, he'd be champ. Yeah. If Izzy wasn't there. Yeah. Like, you're not. You can't really do anything. Col- Colby's just gonna fight the next runner up you know we could do the winner of Bilal and uh, Luke Bilal and Luke oh yeah yeah so I mean but if like Usman beats Leon and Colby beats Bilal versus Luke I guess you gotta do a third fight you know yeah which sucks but fuck cause it doesn't make sense how do you stop Usman man yeah Dude's getting better every time. He is getting older, though. Maybe he'll probably retire soon. You think so? I can, yeah, I could see that. Maybe just start coaching. This fucking Canelo talk needs to stop. Oh yeah. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I'm sure he's just getting the money. I mean, that's why Canelo just says payday, and that's it. Right. Because it's yeah. true, man. We got to see that the boxers going into the MMA world. You know. Yeah, who knows when we'll fucking see that. I'm tired of this boxing shit. <clears throat> tired of Jake Paul and Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather bullshit. <laughs> Tyson Fury versus Ngannou. <laughs> um, but the next fight's coming up is damn, I had it on my screen and I made a new tab. Um what's yeah, his last name? Tiago Tiago. Santos? Yeah, and then Ankalif? Ankalif. Ankalif. Magomed. (laughs) Ankalif. You have a prediction for that one? Let me pull it up. I don't. I mean, I think Tiago's on a losing streak, too. 
Whew. Bro. Magomed Ankalov. I guess I got to go for um, Ankalov. Every time I just see... Just the beard. Magom- yeah, the beard. The, the beard shaved head combo. <laughs> <laughs> You're done for. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I like Peter Jan so much. That dude's Russian, right? Yeah. Why can't he? People just shave their shit. I'm I trying to be know. different, you know. Like, imagine ten years <clears throat> from now, all the weight classes as just the champion is a bearded. They dude. all look the same, <laughs> and all their last names are fucking Nurmagomedov or something. Gomed. Um, Marez versus Song Yudong will be very good. Ooh. I'm kind of scared for uh, Marez. Yeah, me too. That dude was on such a good like winning streak, and then he just can't get can't catch a break nowadays. Like he'll do good in the first couple. Yeah, and get he, tired. He just yeah, he just breaks down. Mm-hmm. Song of Dong. Motherfucker hits hard, bro. We'll see what happens. Was it two forty favorite? Yes. Is he the one that trains with um, Team Alpha Male? Am I thinking of a different Dong? person? I'm not sure. Oh. I'm pulling for Song Probably, Dong. Bro. Uri is always bringing in Asian fighters. I yeah. love it. <laughs> it's very appreciative. I got to take my Asian brethren, <laughs> Song <Yi> Dong. <laughs> and then um, the other fight on the card, the verse fight for the main, uh, main card is... Uh, Alex Bruce Leroy Pereira. Oh, I was talking about oh, Alex Pereira. Alex, yeah, is his best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I like to see him climb up. Yeah, get that fight going before it's too late. Right, I think that'd be dope, and I'm sure Izzy's game too. Oh yeah, I'm sure Izzy's uh, got a little scouting report on him for that fight. Um, but I think you want to talk about Bruce Lee Roy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to say about Bruce Lee Roy anymore, bro. Oh, what was the other one? Um, Drew Dober versus uh Terrence McKinney. Oh, bro. Terrence McKinney's on a mission, dude. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I forgot who Drew Dober fought last. The last one that I can think of wasn't it Islam? Oh damn! I'm pretty sure it was Islam. Fuck. And he got like a rear naked choke. Yeah. I'll go with McKinney, man. McKinney. Yeah. Judober's been in there for a while. Yeah, I was about to say he's been fine for a minute, right? Yeah, I remember seeing him in like UFC two, UFC Undisputed <sighs> two. And I was like, who is this dude? <laughs> Look at that chin. <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, the chin. Um, sure, I'll go for McKinney. Uh, but let's call it a podcast. Next week we'll talk about Batman. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, peace out, guys. Later.